This footage is of Oben Petkovic, one of Grand Master Takeyuki Kubota's top fighters from the headquarters of International Karate Association. Most karatikas stop fighting tournaments in their late 20s, but not this warrior. Boban has been consistently competing for the last 25 years, and he loves it. He originally came from Yugoslavia with a black belt degree in judo and discovered Grandmaster Kubota's Go Sukuryu Dojo in Glendale, California. From that day on, loyalty and dedication are the two words that can describe Boban's career. Countless victories include the 2000 IKA Seniors Kubota World Cup Championship, 1983 JKA Pan American Games. In 1980, he was the captain of the U.S. Kumite team in the JKA's World Tournament in Germany and an eight-time Grand IKA annual champion. Boban Petkovic received the Fighter of the Millennium Award during the 2000 Kubota Cup World Tournament. Well, the appealing thing to karate was winning. <laughs> to me, it was winning, because um, I find myself uh, being very successful in that. I did train in other sports before that, like hockey, soccer, gymnastics, and uh, uh, individuals, and the basketball I trained, and soccer, and swimming. But uh, so karate appealed to me because uh, I could find myself in individual sport where I would be on a if not on the top, then among the top privileged few, you know, so it was either the talent or uh, persistence, but uh, the feeling of dominating other persons physically appealed to me also, you know, so I liked uh, being on, uh, in control. My favorite techniques are the one where I make the opponent do what I expect him to do. In another word, if he's going to attack me, I position myself in a distance and uh, I wait for his timing and then react. Or if I want to attack, then I get myself in position and uh, wait for his mistakes to do that. This time I want, by switching stands, I want to make myself open for him so he can react and punch me. In either way, I can do with a blocking and then execute the technique. So in order to do that, I go with the back leg first. I open myself here. Block here and then reverse punch there. So it's. Come! 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 Uh, the karate moves would always change, so karate as a sport would be unpredictable. What would be today, what I achieved today, and I thought I would know. The next day with the next partner, with the next circumstances would be a different thing. So there would be another challenge for me to uh, conquer and uh, two, three pounds of sweat put into that before that move would be achieved. My first technique was uh, when the opponent was attacking. The second one would be when I want to do an attack. When I do it, from switching the stance, I'm looking for my distance, positioning myself in a distance and waiting for the opponent to get off balance. I try to reach, grab his hand, kick him, pull him into the punch, and then continue with my left punch. Again, from switching stance, I, as I step here, I grab the arm. Grab the arm, pull, <coughs> kick, and punch. Okay, fast. <laughs> Okay, attacking from choosing the distance, grabbing and trying to grab his arm as I cross oh. kick, reverse punch, or oizuki punch. Oh. Moving feet, getting into distance, grabbing, oh. punch, back. Come on, back. Philosophy karate is, uh, consists of four things. The first thing would be the movement, which is the basics 
and then uh, with constant rigidous training for years it's a technique that we develop you know certain techniques leg technique arm technique Now, how we get to that uh, opponent is from a distance. There is a certain distance that we have to break in order to get to the opponent. And this is usually within an inch or so. Karate origin from a, a swordsmanship. So in our mind, it's, it's that one cut, one perfect move that you have to do in order to defeat your opponent. In order to get to him, it's all about that one inch of, of distance that we have to get to him and be able to either block and deliver the uh, blow after or a punch or just do it before you give them a chance to do it. Now the second one should be this one. The third thing in karate would be the timing. Once you get yourself in a good distance and you know what you're going to do from all your uh, repertoire of uh, various techniques, you're fighting for a timing. You're fighting for the, the split second when you're going to do it before the opponent do, which can also, which is also uh, two ways. You know, if you're going to be defensive. You're waiting like the gunman in the Old West, you're waiting for the first one to draw the move so you can react to his move. That is defensive part of karate uh, timing. The next one is offensive, which is also a kind of uh, touch it because the other party can be reacting to your move and uh, then their timing can work out. So in attacking, in a f uh, attacking timing, you would have to make a move to provoke the opponent and then you're going to react to his reaction. So it would be kind of a little tricky. part that keeps all those things together is a key. The key is where you're loose, but you're also tense. Where you're tense and you're loose. When you know what you're going to do from your technique, you have in your mind the idea of what you want to do. You don't want to kick him or you want to sweep him or you want to block or punch. Then you put yourself in a very proper distance and you're waiting for that split timing to execute your technique. What I'm waiting is for his reverse punch. I make an opening so he alerts me to a reverse punch. As I block, I punch at the same time. My hip is following the arm and I sweep him with the arm and then finishing the technique with a nice reverse punch. Uh, this technique involves patience and good distance and good timing. Well, as soon as he reverse punch, I want to reverse punch him and block at the same time. Then as I do it, my leg is sweeping him and I'm doing reverse punch after. Okay, so I'm waiting for his reverse punch and then I'm punching and him and going through, blocking and punching. Uh, okay, in order for him to reverse punch me, if I stay like this, he wouldn't. So I have to make him an opening a little bit through my movement. So I go 
open, black, and then at the same time punch, and then sweep him down and reverse punch with the knee pressing onto the neck and grabbing the arm. In between all these four elements, I think there are a lot of other little elements that are important, like the fake, which is connected both with the distance and the timing in order to get closer to your opponent. You have to make many moves. You have to make them uh, believe they're going to uh, expect one thing, and then you change. And that's why I think that the leg movements are very important, if not the most important, as it's a basic, it's the legs that are bringing and taking us away to the opponent and uh, taking us from the trouble and into a trouble. Most of the moves that I use at a tournament are consisting of two moves. The first preparation for the main attack. In other words, the first move is a fake or a setup for the execution technique. Either for me executing technique or the first move is to set the opponent up to do their move, and then my second move would be the scoring punch or a kick. This time I tried to do, trying to sweep, and see if you want to move back, I'm going to miss him purposely. I'm going to step, half step, and then do shield again. So again, if I want to sweep him, I do not want to come open where he's going to punch. I want to make sure that he goes back. So I tried to kizami him and move him back a little bit. As I move him back, I sweep and I miss. I step, half step back, Ushiro get him, scoring. Kick and back. One more time. Okay, the most important thing is the distance. I gotta get myself a distance for sweep. Elbows close so he doesn't punch me. Kizami, so I move him back. Kizami, sweep. I miss Murakin and back kick. It's essential that we practice for 15 minutes, just like we did at our early stage, just the walking, karate walking, where we would uh, uh, be very alert about our legs, you know. Stepping, half step, full step, that would get us close to the opponent, which would uh, control the distance thing, and also in these movements, we are waiting for the timing thing to execute the technique and, uh, and be proper in uh, doing it. So the legs are very, very important and uh, everything comes from the legs. I do not know what my opponent knows. I do not know that. But I know what I practice. I know what I know. So my philosophy is trying to do the moves that I do until they work. Which means in my repertoire or my techniques, let's say if I'm injured in my legs, I want to do the uh, hand technique, I would still try to fake the opponent into thinking that I would like to do something with the legs and then switch it and it would be like a chess game, you know, it's like uh, trying to, to do the best that I can, the best what I know, try to apply that on the opponent and uh, in my constant leg movement going close and uh, far away from him, I would fight for an opportunity to break the technique that he expect me to do and then change it into something else which would be unpredictable for the opponent and in that way it would work.
The question I've been asked is, why do I feel more different than other people, more winner than the other people, and why is my attitude of the winning person rather than a losing one? Well, there are answers to that, but the first and most honest answer is, how much time you put into something is how much you want to expect from it. In other words, if we go and train together and uh, they tell us to do 20 of one technique and if you do 20 and I do 25, I'll be a little better than you. If you do 20 and I do 100, then I can expect that I can be a little better even with the talent, even with everything is how much of effort and how much of sweat you put into it. That's number one thing. That's going to make me go to the tournament with a self-esteem with some uh, right to do better than the people that didn't do as much as I did. Besides uh, putting a lot of energy and putting a lot of uh, effort into the sports is a love of sports. This is actually the biggest and the main cause which makes me do all this because I just love sports and karate. I find out myself in karate as number one sport. I stayed the longest with karate. I trained the longest than any other sports. It gave me a lot of uh, uh, feedback. It gave me a lot of... Uh, beautiful things in return, my health, my family, my friends, and the love of sports, the love of uh, exercising and doing is uh, just uh, a recipe for a winning. Hey, speed up. 